Hey guys, welcome to a new video. If you're new here, I'm April. I'm a skincare chemist and I talk about all things beauty and skincare. So if you just want to hang out with your skincare girlfriend or just chat all things beauty, make sure to like the video, subscribe, and join the family. Yeah, that's just how we roll over here. We just love talking skin. So if you don't get annoyed by all things skin and beauty, I'm your girl. If I counted the amount of emails and messages that I got to talk about my current favorite mineral sunscreen, I would be so rich by now. Like I'll leave Godango tea will have nothing on me. But you guys, I just got really excited to make this video because I just got this sunscreen. It's a lip tinted sunscreen. This sunscreen is amazing. I was invited by Lip Tinted to their influencer event here in Dallas. And this girl was trying this sunscreen on. And we're gonna get into the sunscreen, but I kinda like to give you guys a backstory, like a little bit of context. And she was fair skin tone, and I was like, girl, that's not gonna work on me. Let's move on. Next product. But then she's like, No, you should try it. Like I, I think it is a really good sunscreen, and I'm so happy I tried it. I mean, I'm clearly making a video about it because I really, really love the product. It's so hydrating. When I looked into it, I was like, okay, maybe it has nano zinc, the one that everyone doesn't like because it can possibly penetrate into the skin cells. But no, it has non nano zinc and it's at 18%. 18%, y'all. And you guys know when zinc starts to get up there in the percentage and the dosage, it has more a tendency to give a white gas. And we'll get into that. But I will say this when I did try it on my hand, you know, at the event, it left absolutely no white cast but i knew i wanted to try it on my face and i tried it on my face and you guys can see how hydrating it is how just beautiful it looks on the skin but it doesn't have zero white cast though it's probably one of the most minimal white cast sunscreens that i've tried very very minimal and after a while of wearing it it does dry down to be pretty much clear and it gives you like that dewy finish it just is so pretty in the skin and it has glycerin for extra hydration it also has visible oil for soothing the skin. It's a very well formulated sunscreen. And you can also use it as a moisturizer and also like as a makeup primer. So it's a three-in-one sunscreen that I think you guys would really enjoy. So if you're looking for a sunscreen in the market, mineral sunscreen, this is your girl. And while we're on the topic of mineral sunscreens, I actually just got in the Murad. Everyone keeps telling me about the sunscreen. Is there a mineral sunscreen SPF 50, PA++++? It has zinc at 10% and titanium at 2.7%. Mom literally just got this for me from the mailbox and it's so pretty. Literally just got it so I didn't prep for it before the video. So pretty. The most minimal white cast. If you want me to do a video, separate video on it, I got you. I can do it. But yes, just wanted to make a really quick video talking about the Lip Tinted SPF 30 Hue Guard Mineral Sunscreen. I approve it. If you're in the market, she's your girl. All right, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to thumbs up. It's how this video gets recommended so more people can see amazing videos like this. Subscribe, join the family, y'all. We're going to be rolling out a bunch of videos before uh, the end of Q4, so let's just get on the ride. Don't, don't miss the train, okay? Because if you miss it, you probably will regret it. Be sure to check out my other videos at the end of this video. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!